Hey guys, Jason Creel, and it's the Line Care Life, and I'm out here checking out the Ramp Rack, and they've got a new sport edition, so I've got a, a Ramp Rack rack rep with me that's an alliteration there but i'm uh, going to talk about show you the two different models and i want to actually see it uh, show you it works so if you want to haul a mower uh, without pulling a trailer i don't know a better way than uh, the ramp rack and they are running 20 percent off through the end of the month so let's get uh, check out the ramp rack all right i'm here with luke and luke is the co-inventor of the ramp rack and he is uh owns the company that they, they, they manufacture them so he if i don't know of a better person really to talk to to tell us about it and uh luke i see as a, the obvious thing here is y'all have got a new model out you got the the, uh, the larger size over here um, maybe let's start with the larger one and then sure. move over to the smaller one sure so back in uh, i think 2018 wyatt farmer uh, really saw the need to um, kind of revolutionized the way that he was running his company to uh, transport lawnmowers and uh, you know his his uh, his, his challenge uh, with trailers uh, is, is really the uh, the necessity that brought about this invention of the ramp rack and uh, a lot of you are familiar with it um, it is uh, you know getting out there in the in the uh, real world now and uh, you know this thing is uh, really heavy duty you can uh, haul 2,000 pounds with it um, we have a three foot extension on the back of the truck with this dovetail. Uh, that's a great uh, feature. Another really nice feature is we have a front uh, shelf up in the front of the truck. And um, one thing I do want to point out, we have a 52 sitting on this ramp rack. We get a lot of questions about what size machine you can put on the ramp rack. Uh, 52 is about your limit, but what's nice is you can bring that right up to the wheel well. So you see your wheel well in there and uh, you can let your wheels uh, sit on this ramp rack. I get that question a lot as well. You know, can we allow the, uh, the mower to sit on the ramp rack? And, and the answer is yes. Um, we also have uh, the ability to, I'll bring you over here to the, uh, the um, trimmer racks. So uh, we've got some trimmer rack extensions that we can provide to you. Um, this helps to push this trimmer rack a foot out from your truck. Uh, we have a nice three station trimmer rack that you can buy from uh, trailer racks. So you can buy this from trailer racks and uh, it's a good good rack to put on there. It's a three station uh, rack. Um, you can also fit another mower up in the front of that. So this room for like a 36. Um, here we have a push mower on the shelf and that uh, it's a good storage location for gas cans um, as well as uh, 22 inch mower. Uh, another feature I'll go over real quick that I get a lot of questions on is can I take this off my truck? And the answer is yes. Um, we offer an option where um, we, we offer a quick disconnect option and I'll show that to you real quick. So basically the way that works you take this linkage it's kind of hard to do this one-handed uh, but you take this linkage and you spin this around you lock it in here, okay? And what? And you, there's two, there's one on each side. And what that does is that locks your ramp down. And um, when you do that, I'll give you a little tip. Uh, you'll drop this pin in there again, I'm one-handed right now. So you'll drop that pin in and you'll tighten this linkage. You'll, you'll actually want to push uh, this linkage against the ramp so that it really uh, pushes that down a little bit, just a little bit. Um, and then you drop your uh, jack leg so there's a pin right there. You pull that pin out, drop the uh, foot in the jack leg, lock it back in, um, and then you turn this crank. And what that does is that lowers your uh, jack stand um, down and starts to lift the dovetail. All right, so think of the end of that dovetail. When that's locked down, it's gonna start jacking this up just a little bit. So you jack that up a little bit, take some tension off these pins, then you, you're able to pull these pins out and um, you go back to the jack, you continue jacking. And what that does is that lifts your dovetail off of this little, um, this little washer, okay? And then uh, once, you're, once you've cleared that little washer, then you're able to pull the truck away from the, uh, the dovetail. Now reassembly uh, to the truck is basically the reverse of assembly. Luke, on the, on the, the larger uh, rack, what's the price on it, and then what's the price compared to the smaller one? Really, the price on the large one is $34.95, as you see that option right there. So that has your, your front rack, okay? That's your, 
you can put your little push mower up there. Yeah, I got gas you. Gas cans. Uh, we offer that in actually three different versions. Uh, we also offer a headache rack version, which is on the back end of this. It's actually the same. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, looking on the back it just has a headache rack in the front and then you can also get a, a third option that has uh, no uh, headache rack or front rack in it now on the sport this is our latest model so really glad to show this to you um, just came out with this a couple months ago and um, your your sport is a nice um, uh, price point on that it's less than two thousand uh, dollars price on this right now is 18.95 um, actually, if you come to the show uh, this week, we're offering a promotion, so hope to see you uh, today or tomorrow. But um, basically, this unit is, is a great unit because it's lightweight, meaning that it's a little easier to assemble. It's also, it's also uh, simpler uh, to assemble. So I'll, I'll start showing you the, uh, the assembly, uh, how this hooks up to your truck. So basically, it's a, uh, I call it a three-point uh, assembly or three-point contact system. So down here, we use your uh, your two-inch receiver. Now we can actually use a two-inch or two and a half-inch receiver. When you purchase this, this will come with a little sleeve that uh, if you have a two and a half, you can put this uh, put this on a two and a half-inch receiver. We have a special system where this piece actually uh, clamps into your receiver and tightens this up, uh, makes that nice and strong. Um, okay, when you get this, and you can check YouTube out. There's some videos out there of how to assemble this. But when you get this, it'll come in basically three pieces. You'll have your, we call this the dovetail, which is this piece back here. This is the side on the dovetail. Um, you'll get your, your hitch parts, and then you'll get your, your first ramp and your second ramp. And all of these are very manageable for one person to handle. Can we see it function? Can you, will you mind um, unfolding it and let's watch you pull the mower off and on? Sure, I'd love to. So, we'll start with the, uh, the pins. So, to uh, let this ramp down, you just rotate that pin about 90 degrees on each side. Grab your handles. Now, um, you've got uh, a nice long ramp. Uh, this is 40. This is 48 inches wide. So down here at the, the, the uh, these sections of the ramp, you're at 48 inches. Um, up here, uh, you're at 51 and a half inches from side to side. So that allows you to get a 48-inch uh, uh, machine onto your standard pickup truck. All right. Let's see you. Let's see you get the, the mower off and on. Okay. Sure. Pretty cool design if you don't want to haul a trailer around, I will say that. And I think the price, especially on this one, less than 2000 bucks, it's not bad. We're gonna watch you pull it back up there. Appreciate it, uh, Luke, and I wish I'd invented that thing. That's that's yeah. really cool, and really cool that you came up with something. But I I, I, I like the sport edition because like I said sometimes here, not uh, not that the deal was bad. I'm just saying if you're trying sometimes the the goal is to not have a trailer, and so these people are going minimal setup, and so you got a minimal rack with a 48 inch mower in the back and one or two people can get a lot of work done with sure. that without pulling sure. a trailer absolutely and you know it's it's a team effort uh, i'll tell you you know wyatt farmer he he planted a a great seed and you know this has really taken off and and uh we've you know co-developed co this together and trying to uh, you know bring it to the world and, and help people solve everyday uh problems here so let me show you how it goes up real quick i have right. last thing yeah. to show you so what's really cool is when you put this up your latches automatically reset so that's you. a really great feature because you know it's easy to forget your uh, to latch your tailgate and the last thing you want is for this thing to fall down when you're going down the road well, I've enjoyed uh, watching the, the success of the ramp rack because like I said I, I can tell you in the last couple of years y'all have come a long way and I've uh, even seeing some local people in my area driving around with one in the back of their truck so it's, it's pretty cool to see the success of, of y'all's uh, Y'all's baby here taking off. Okay, awesome. Thanks for coming out. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Yep.